All right, so I'm sitting here with Abdulaziz Kunert. Uh, happy New Year, firstly. Um, how's everything going for you? Um, happy New Year to you too and to the listeners and the viewers. Um, yeah, things have been going well. I'm happy to be back, happy to be fighting again, especially on ESPN Africa, one of the biggest TV channels. But yeah, I'm happy. It's a big, it's a big platform to showcase your skills on. I mean, as we mentioned in the last show, it's about 80 million households. I mean, how big is that to you? That is very big. I think we need this in boxing, especially us as fighters and the exposure that we need, you know, and to display also my 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 my, my gift that I I've, I'm being given. I'm really happy to to be showcased on the ESPN Africa. All right, not to harp on bad times, but I mean, the last fight that you had, I mean, it was a contentious decision. Uh, you could have easily been the SA champion on the night. Uh, reflecting back, how do you think? If I reflect back, um, you know, the, the fight took a lot out of me and gave me a lot also. I thought oh, we won the fight, so many people from all around the country messaged me, you know, but I don't take it bad. But I take it as a as as a motivation to the person I am, so that when the next time I step into the ring, that I'm gonna make sure that that the judges or whatever doesn't goes unturned, it goes my way. Originally, you were scheduled to fight uh, Becky. Uh, that fight fell away, and now you're fighting. I, I I believe to be a harder fight against Maduna from KZN. Uh, how do you feel about that? I feel good. I feel like I want to fight every, like everyone that is on top out there. Especially when I'm fit, I'm always ready, you know. And to execute my game plan against Maduna would be good. I'm looking forward to this fight. I'm ready. How do you assess him? I don't know if you've seen any footage. I know your coach would have definitely seen Colin Nathan, would have definitely studied. Have you seen anything on him? Yeah, I've seen him fight before in Cape Town, live. Yeah, so I've seen what he what he's what he has to offer. I don't have to elaborate a lot about him, but I know I'll be victorious and I will beat him. So you already know, like prior, I mean, you've probably pictured since he was in and around your weight division that you might line up against him one day. Uh, so you've already envisioned how to beat him? Yeah, and I've been working on the game plan and it's just to me that I will execute it on the night. I believe your fight is an eight round fight, is that correct? No, it's a six round, yes. So in a six round fight, I mean, you can't exactly, you know, take your time. You sort of got to get into it just a little bit more than a four rounder. But I mean, you know, to get back on your feet again, six rounds, you'll be fully fit for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. He's rated number one. So I'm coming again for that position so I can be in contention to get my South African title from King. And I hope he must be ready too. So it's basically an eliminator for you. I mean, you feel like you, you know, beat this guy and straight away you get a sunder. Yeah. Hopefully, God willing, everything goes to plan, and I will, and I will be happy. Uh, I don't want to step over this current opponent, but what sort of the uh, what, what would be different? I mean, obviously, you feel like you won the first fight against Asanda, but I mean, what would be different? You'd have to put step up even another gear if the judges didn't feel you you won the fight against Maduna. No, against Asanda, if you had to come up against him, what, what would you do differently? I know what I will do, I'll pressurize him and for the next time if we have to meet I will stop him, definitely. I almost stopped him in the fight but he was fighting dirty, dead butting, hitting behind the head, holding, you, you see everyone seen it, you know, it was, it was for everyone to witness what is happening because even those who don't know boxing could see that was a dirty fight from his side. Looking at where he went after the fight, I mean, he's chosen a different route. He's going to go fight in Russia. Are you surprised at that? No, I'm not surprised. You see, because now you feel like even in these times of COVID and that when opportunities come, boxers want to take it, especially maybe the money is good and the opportunity if he succeeds, you know. But I will root for him if he's going international. But coming back here locally, I will be in his face again. Anticipate uh, that fight again, but just going back uh, to Maduna. Let's just uh, you know give the fans a little bit of uh, perspective. What do you think that he does good? He's he's more of like a, a boxer. Uh, he likes to fight in his dust and moving around, and and he does some clowning also in in the in the ring. What I've seen live, 
Um, but I don't know about now, but I know what I'm going to offer up. And I'm going to give, and I will always give my everything. It was an intense fight the last time we saw you in the ring, and obviously, you know, you're still adjusting to Joburg as well. So do you feel like even now, you're a better boxer for it? Yes, I feel, I feel much better, you know. The relationship here in Joburg, it feels also much better. My mind also feels more calm because I'm, I'm, I'm a year now yeah, up in Joburg, being with Colin, you know, re, with the relationship building and all those things. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy. So what's, what's really good about ESPN? I mean, if you impress on the show, you know, although you have your goals and everything like that, to remain on that platform must be another goal of yours. Yeah, it, it will be... It will be really nice, you know, and especially that they have for one year, every, every month a tournament is really good for boxing, for us boxers. I hope it can extend after the year finishes so that we can keep growing in the sport and seeing that we can become world champions even in our own country. Well, look, um, one, one, one of the younger guys, Ishmael Kadri, is also fighting uh, this week. Oh, not, not on ESPN, but uh, in Cape Town. I mean, any word on that? Yeah, you know, I'm always back with my, with his, my, like my younger brother. You know, in spirit, I'm there with him. But apparently, I heard that the tournament was um, postponed to the 5th of, of March. But with him, I, I, I know he will, he will do us proud. With postponements in boxing, you won't get that on ESPN though, luckily. You know you're going on ESPN, you know you're going to get your fight dates. Uh, that must be reassuring for you as well, to know that next week you're definitely fighting. Yeah, that, that, that is one thing. Me, um, Colin told me, like, you know, we had like two deals before, like for the ESPN and another deal. And then it was like, I asked Colin, because he's, he's the one that is going to guide me upon my path. So he said, let's take ESPN because it's, that is the official date and... Like everything is legitimate and that. not to say about others and that, you know, we're going to have complications and confusions, but yeah, I'm looking forward. Yeah. Uh, look, it started in January. It's now in February. What was your thoughts on, you know, sort of the change in like a South African culture? Because South African boxing usually starts around mid-March. It doesn't, nothing happens in January, February. This year, two events happen in January. What's your thoughts on that? That is great for boxing in its own place you know and to get more activity for the other fighters and that is really good you know uh, after my last fight i think i rested about a month and then i was back at it because i was looking forward maybe to fight again in december because you know like us fighters we want to fight if it's possible to fight like five times a year it will be good six depending on uh, what kind of fight it is if you knock, win by knockout, it's easier to get another fight. Well, now, as a potential title fighter, so obviously it'll be a little bit less because obviously 12 rounds will become a factor as well, probably in your next fights. Um, so the expectation now, I mean, have you adjusted it to maybe like three fights, four fights a year? Yeah, hopefully I look, uh, I have to pray to God and that everything goes to plan and, and that I get the opportunities like that. I asked you about Lorato Glamini because he's a good example in the gym. He's in your weight division as well. Seeing what he can do on the international uh, on, on the international circuits, I mean, that's got to be confidence for you that if you put in a good year and you win four consecutive fights, you could be looking at those fights overseas as well. Yeah, Lorato's a, a big example in the gym. He's on the verge to fight for the WBC title. I hope he's next. Yeah, and you know, it's really be good to be surrounded with people like that and to know that we sport together, that we learn from each other, that possibly soon I will be there too. Yeah. Well, on this immediate card on ESPN, the main event is uh, Zingange versus Impanchana. I know it's one weight division above you, but uh, do you look at that fight? Are you looking forward to watching it later in the evening? Yes, I look forward to that fight. Pillar's been out for quite some time. Sibu has been active. So I would also like, if I could say there's a winner, I would add it to Sibu Siso. Okay. Yeah, because we've also been working together and things like that. Yeah. How's that, how's that been going? Yeah, it's been going well, you know. And I believe he will also be victorious. He loves to, to, to the expectation. All right, so, well, I mean, for your fight itself, I know it's six rounds, very difficult sometimes to predict a knockout in six rounds. Uh, but what is your actual prediction? Mine is... Uh, 
a bonus a knockout but it's what what I want really I want a knockout I want a stoppage if it's not a knockout just a clean clinical performance from you yeah a dominant one clean so you mean business this year this is like the big year for you yeah it's a big year you know also to mention it, I, I lost my mother now about a month ago. My condolences for that. Yeah, yo, it's, it's tough. She was my everything before I came. Yeah, but you know, I'm gonna, like, like I did a proud to win the sport, I will keep doing it. You feel like your mother will be there in spirit with you when you get in the ring? Always, she will always be in spirit with me. I understand that's very tough, uh, but uh, to get a win as well is also important uh, for, to honour her as well. Uh, Abdul, what is your message for Maduna before you guys step in the ring? All I can tell him, he must be ready. He must be ready because I'm ready. Is it as simple as that? Eh? Yeah. Right, and uh, any thank yous, shout outs for anybody? Yeah, I'd just like to thank my sponsor, Brogie, Colin Nathan, for being there, you know, my team and everyone that supports me you know and i'm doing this for all of us and for myself thank you very much for speaking to us abdul thank you